In this video, I'll show you how you can add an end screen to your YouTube videos. So you can see an end screen look something like this and you can link people to a video of yours. You can also prompt them to subscribe. So I'm going to show you how you can add an end screen to videos you've already got uploaded. Then I'll show you how you can add an end screen to videos that you're just uploading just now. So first, let's look at videos which you've already got on your channel. So if you go ahead and go to your YouTube icon, then go to YouTube Studio, you'll then be on your YouTube dashboard. From here, you then want to go to content and then you can find videos that you want to add an end screen to. So just go ahead and choose the video and then click on details. Now, once you're inside of details, it will show you obviously everything about that video. You can then go ahead and go to editor and from here you can add an end screen. So inside the video editor, you want to then scroll down and go to the end screen section. So click add end screens. That's going to then prompt you to add an end screen from a template or you can add a video, a playlist, get people to subscribe to a specific channel or link them to an additional website. I'm going to click apply from template and that's going to give you some templates which YouTube have already created. So the one I like to add is one video and one subscribe. You can also add two videos, but in my experience with end screens, you want to take the viewer to a specific video. You want to tell them what video they need to go to. So I'm going to click on one video and one subscribe and it's then going to add that end screen to my video. Now the end screen will only be added to the last 15 seconds. So you can see here if we zoom in with this icon here, you can then see your end screen in practice. So you've got the subscribe element and you've got the best for viewer video element. Now you can go ahead and make these shorter if they appear too early. So maybe we want to make them appear here. And obviously you can choose when you want these to appear. So now looking at your elements, you can go ahead and move them around. So this is going to be the subscribe element. And when people hover over this, a subscribe icon will appear. So I'm going to leave this in the top right hand corner. And then you've got your video. So if you click on that element, you've got your video, which you can make bigger. And I would recommend you make it as big as possible. Now, by default, it's going to be on best for viewer. And YouTube's going to recommend the viewer a video on your channel, which best suits them. You can also add most recent upload, but I wouldn't recommend that because if people click on it and they're not really interested, it's going to bring your watch time down. I would also recommend either choosing best for viewer or a specific video. So if you have a specific video in mind, you can mention it at the end of your video that you're uploading. And then obviously you can send them to that specific video. If you click on that, you can obviously search through your videos and choose one, or you can also search for videos from other channels. So if you've got more than one channel, it's a good way to get views from a current channel to a second channel. For this video though, I'm just going to choose or leave it on best for viewer, and then we can click save. And that's going to add them end screens. And that's pretty much all you've got to do for a video, which is already on YouTube. Now to add end screens to a video that you're just uploading, go to create, upload videos, select a file and select a video you want to upload. From here, you can go and add all the usual details. And if you go over to the video elements section, here you can go ahead and add a video. You can also import an end screen from another video. So say if you're using a template which you want to keep on using, you can import that from another video. Most likely though, you might want to just click on a template. So I'm going to click on this template here. And again, you can go through the exact same steps as before. Go ahead and then click save once you've added your video. Once you've got this green tick, it means your end screen is being added and you can then continue to upload your video. But that's how you can add an end screen to your YouTube videos. Hope that was quick and did help you out.